sit back and just kind of touch on a few things um, that years ago people would have thought you were crazy. Uh, or crazy and it's like conspiracy. Conspiracy was a bad word, but if it is, it's mentioned in the Bible a few times. And let's face it: if you put a bunch of rich old men together, or women, and then you've got another group over here that they want to impersonate, they're going to go around and make you think. The ways that you can get something over on somebody, or make them look stupid. Is for one, you ridicule them. And when you ridicule them, eventually they begin to feel stupid because they believe such things. But there's evidence for it. Tons of evidence. Some of them smack you in the face evidence. But still, they want you to feel stupid. And they want people to think you're crazy. And another is be dismissive. And uh, all this stuff, and I want you to look this up. I don't take my word for nothing, nothing at all. I try to come some kooky as man. Because that's the way they're going to make you feel. Um, it all started with Carl Jung. He invented the think tank. And the think tank's used on everything nowadays. They want you to buy underwear, the proper condiments, he'll go through a thick tank. Who was Carl Young? He was Sidney Freeman, who I consider a complete pervert. I mean, he 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 was just out of touch with what was real. He was real with him, but it wasn't real with nobody else, or at least not the majority. Because he thought nothing, everything was done by sex. So, that's Carl Young. And somehow all these guys tie in to the monkey man. You know, Mr. Evolution himself. I don't know how they tie in, I forgot. It's been so long, I've got to order, I can't remember spot. But, uh, you know, I'll touch on some of them. Uh, thinking that you could, your child could become president one day. That's a pipe dream, folks. There's only been one president out of everybody, and that includes Donald Trump, that has not been kin to all these other presidents. So, you know, that, that tells you something right there. They're not elected. They're appointed. Always have been. But uh, for that, you'd want to look at Bilderberg. Some say the Bilderberg are the Democrat. They're, they're in charge of the Democrats. And that the uh, Bohemian Grove uh, are over the Republicans. Which, granted, the pictures I've seen, you had Carter, you had Reagan, you had Bush one and Bush two. Almost every president we've had in the last times has been, if they're a Republican, they've been from Bohemian Grove. Almost every one of them joined it. And that's a little grove. And the grove is just a grove of trees. It's a state park. And uh, they sure have found a whole lot of them. They get busted or a lot of them wants to get out of office. They find these pictures of Biz in the Billboard group. Excuse me, the Bohemian Road. Now we'll correct that, Jones, on one thing. That 40 foot concrete alley they worship, that is not uh, Moloch. Moloch is portrayed as a half cow, half bull, a minotaur. Which brings you right back to the insert commercial with the it's a stupid commercial with this guy that's half motorcycle and half man and he's called motor don't you wonder what they're trying to do here 
Um, but they are supposed to be the Republican group. And then they all get together and hash it out. Whoever you see walking out of that Bilderberg meeting, that's going to be your next president. Everybody thought Obama. Uh, no, everybody thought Hillary. Because she came walking out the front until they seen Obama go sneaking out the back. So, but then there's one guy that was a Republican and he's running for president here in Tennessee. Now, he was leading the polls. He was winning. I can't even remember who he was running against. Everybody liked him. We all did. Now, suddenly he just up and dropped out of the race. No if, ands, buts, no quarrels about it. He just quit. And we all thought, oh my God. He's winning. Why would he quit? Well, why would he quit? As it said, like I say, I did have proof of it from where this guy researched it. And it still may be on the findings one or findings two board. I just don't really want to sit and look for it. Uh, when you get elected into D.C., they take you into Chicago. And they turn you loose. And they finally say, you know, this, this is your initiation. So they take you to this queer bar. Except these ain't men. These are boys. And you get to pick which one you want. They tell you, hey, in here there's no cameras. We're going to take up your cell phone. We don't want any pictures. No videos, no nothing. What happens in here stays in here. Well, as it turns out, he kind of liked running for president. He liked popularity. He liked uh, everything about it. So apparently he told him no. These are the people you don't tell no to. So they said, okay, push come and shove. Here's some pictures of you and this little boy. You molested him. Said, we'll turn him over to your wife. I got his attention real quick. So he decided to back down. I mean, he couldn't have that out because he's supposed to be a real religious man. You know how all the Democrats refer to themselves as, as godly men. And we see how that's going. But, uh, so he agreed to it. And he said, yeah, that's what I'll do. So he resigned from running for president. And that allowed them to put their person in position, which was Hillary at the time. If I'm not mistaken, it could have been Obama. No difference. One's got a little bit better tan than the other. One's got moves better than the other. Doesn't have to be the same. But uh, somehow she got a hold of the picture and confronted him. She must have been a pretty good woman. Because she, she got rid of him. You didn't see her stand up there like Hillary Clinton did and say, well, I forgive my husband. I know it's just him. Uh, or some Jack Lane excuse. Nope, she just said goodbye and divorced him. You know, when they prosecuted Harvey Wiseman, the whole pedophile thing went away. You can't tell me one person does all those abductions. Does all that evil. A one person can do a lot. But not that much. I mean, it's funny here. They say a lot of the, the actors and actresses that accused him, it wasn't him. It wouldn't touch them. Maybe it made him mad. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it just, maybe it's true. But... Anyway, he went to prison. Then, about the same time, he had Jeffrey Epstein. And I'm sorry, I still find it hard to believe that this pervert gets stuck in this big old prison into this one spot that three cameras aren't working. 
I mean, God knows again, it tries to cut pennies, but not that bad. You know, you got like little George Bush, and you got daddy George Bush, Dick Cheney. Those all have a mountain of witnesses against them. Um, who else is there? There was about everybody that was in there. That's what they do. Uh, and you look back through time, there was a thing, I can't remember, it Lambda or Mamba? But it was men loving little boys. And uh, there was one of the greatest writers of our day. Um, Ernest Hemingway, I think it was, that he liked little boys. And back then it was legal. And you got on Jeffrey Epstein's jet, pretty much everybody that you can imagine, including Trump. So, I really don't think Tank Trump is seeing the preachers that he surrounded himself with. I really don't think that he was going to go there to pray the, pray the world, pray the word of God to those people. Nope. Just don't see it. And then you look at Walt Disney. Supposedly, Disney's brother Roy was downstairs, down at underground Disney, and uh, created snuff, rape snuff films on children. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just telling you what I read. And the people that wrote it, you can still find that information up there. Disney himself had a, a little thing turn on with him about boys and girls with butts. And you can see that in a lot of these cartoons. Uh, there's just a lot of cartoons that's got... It's it's not stuff that you go, oh yeah, they're grabbing his trials. No, it's in your face. Um, so, I mean, why can't we stop child pedophilia? Or child sex trafficking? Because the ones at the top, the ones that own me, you, and everything else, they don't want it stopped. And they're not going to stop it. Not unless they're forced to. And you got a lot of people with a lot of firepower and a hell of a lot of bottles with their study groups. I guarantee you they've done figured out everything that you can say, everything that you can do, just to shut it down. They're smart. They ain't run this world for thousands of years without being smart. This ain't the same people, of course. This is their offspring. But, and to tell you the truth, I almost wouldn't doubt if it wasn't well, the Nephilim themselves, but then again, the Nephilim, they only last like 500 years. It's messed up. They know that by nature, I'm just going to put this out here because really, time's short. No sense in pussyfooting around it. They know people basically are stupid. Or gullible, however you want to put it. I'd say stupid would be more accurate. I mean, just stop and think of some of this crap that they've had everybody believe in. I remember when they came out and they said, oh, diesel's a much cleaner energy. So we're switching everything over to diesel, cars, trucks, you name it. Anybody that can see two foot in front of them, watch a diesel engine pull off, that's not less pollution. I mean, or they can look up in the sky and see these streaks that they leave. Now all the data points to there's more aluminum in the ground and on the surface there. That's what's killing the trees. It ain't global warming. It's aluminum. Uh, it's changing the pH of the soil. And certain trees can't stand that. You know, that won't live in the pH it is changing to. Uh, they just, I mean, it's, we don't know how to put it. I don't even look in the sky and then 
start looking for the next two weeks of how much respiratory and uh, sinuses, if I can, uh, how much of that is on an uphill swing during one of these mass springs. Uh, and they don't even go look at it. They made what in the world are they spraying? Uh, a little documentary. It's pretty good. But then they made why in the world are they spraying? That is excellent. You watch that and you don't believe it, you have to be done. And how many Christians did they had saying the Chronicles of Narnia movie was a Christian movie? Which I watched a little of it, I didn't watch much. It had Chimera and, uh, or Chimera, and all kinds of bastard creations like the Minotaur, the, well, the horse, winged horse, high force, high uh, person. Changes like that, that that's, that's that drastic in what God had intended is not from God, and it's not going to take God's part. So, therefore, that movie is a complete falsehood. You know, these things were created to go against God. Not the Noah movie. I watched it just because I knew a lot of people would be asking me to watch it. So I watched it. And when I seen these big rock people that were supposed to be the temple coming out to help Noah, one of them hung on to the boat. Now there is a Jewish myth about that with the, one of the Nephilim hanging on. Uh, that's how far they divert from the Bible. Not all of them, most of them. At least some of them. Uh, and yet people said, wow, and every people eventually believed that the Nephilim had to help Noah get the ark started. Just because Hollywood said it, or because they'll get, later on they'll get some professor, or even worse, uh, some theologian to come up and say that that story was accurate. That's what, that's when it'll go down. I mean, people will believe anything you tell them. Uh, Hitler or Himmler once said, if you tell a lie, a big enough lie, and you tell it enough times, people will believe it, and it's true. Think of the people right now around believe in evolution, when there's not one single case of evolution. None. Animals and people don't turn into different animals and people. But it's in science books, even though it's been proven wrong. When the government was in such a hurry under, uh, I not who it was, Hoover or somebody, that when they put that in the, uh, I sort of comic books, it's about what they are, textbooks, that even now when it's been proven wrong, they still go with the old junk you got one guy he was a coming up the old theologian slash preacher I guess and he was being promoted by somebody pretty popular he uh, he said that uh, I was watching one of his things I was really impressed with him well-spoken, good-looking young guy. But he was telling the story of Noah in Genesis, well, actually, Genesis 1 through 6. And it was about the great flood and the uh, time before the flood. And he said, so Noah and his wife and her two sons and their wives and now they were, I'm a one-man outfit. 
I do what little cut and paste. I do most of the things I don't have anything to read from. I just say what comes to the top of my mind. And this has been edited. Most of the time I never edit them. They're on there, they're on there. Unless I make a bad mistake. Then I'll either pull them down or I'll edit them. So, but this guy had all the software in the world. He could have done on right there editing. He said, Noah, his wife, and his two sons, and their wives. I sat back and thought, I thought, was he going to correct himself? Well, he didn't. The rest of the whole thing, never once did he correct himself. Nobody corrected him. So I got up on remarks, and I said, uh, Noah had three sons, not two. And they each had a wife. And Shem, Japheth, and Ham. And, oh man, you'd think I struck Jesus himself in the face. Those people went wild. You know, how dare you? Blah, 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 blah. And that's how this crazy stuff gets started. I seen one guy, I didn't watch his video, but your real reason for being corrected, we don't tell that in the Bible. God looked down on his creation, seeing that it was good, but he needs somebody to tend it. Which we really screwed that up, but you know, people will believe anything you tell them. And then they'll go on with their lives because they just want closure. Uh, you know, you got Jeffrey Epstein, you got Harvey Wisner or whatever his name, Weisberger. And yet, those people are everywhere. That's two small fish in a great big pond. I mean, about all the kings and queens and leaders of the countries around the world do the pedophile thing. And they do the child sex tragedy. I know we looked into it years ago. And there again, you can find it on findings one or two, maybe both, along with the evidence to prove it. So it, it just amazes me um, it's like we want to be sucker. We don't want to know. One lady told me, she said, at least I know, at least it didn't bother me. I'm a half there I'll wait. Well, are you really going to be happy over that? Because if you are, you're going to make it to heaven. But just because you don't see it, don't mean it didn't get blind. Right? Because it didn't. And don't, you know, turn your eye to it. That's when evil gets good. Evil likes for you to turn your face to it. Because they know, he knows then you'll never see it. Instead, you'll watch ghost movies and uh, zombie movies. Stuff like that. I mean, stuff that is not going to enhance or increase your lifespan or your perspective on life, ever. You're watching somebody else with some sick fantasy they have. It's not going to do a thing for improvement. She has many people as they've shot on The Walking Dead. We'd be, uh, we'd be extinct by now. But... It says it'll be like that in the end days. That's another thing. Everybody's saying the Antichrist. Yeah, they will be the son of perdition. But there's not a Antichrist. There are Antichrists, as in several. So what you get is going to be one. Except the people who are going to groom this one are... Uh, wanting you to believe that there's only one. There'll be three when they take over the world. One will be over religion, one will be over financial, and I forget what the other's over. I guess everything else. So these are things you should know, and there's more. That's a drop. NASA. Where do you think NASA come from? I mean, everybody laughs and says it stands for need another seven astronauts, but where do you really think it formed it? All these smart people we had hid to the side? No. 
paper, project paperclip. Where we went, us and other countries, it wasn't just us, went around and uh, took all the good Nazi scientists we could get. The Nazis just happened to be the best on rocketry and the best on uh, jet engines because they were they already had jet engines before we even thought about a jet engine. So you know, I mean, you gotta wonder when does the ignorance stop? They will show you something on television and you'll believe it. Not everybody. But a lot of them. Or they'll think, I've signed my petition, so I've done my part. My petition don't mean squat. They look at that in life and say, well, how many people do we lack having them all uh, following our footsteps that show that they got on where the singers are masked i tell you what I'm going to show you that one this is believe it or not 1972 Rothschild Illuminati party uh, no reason to design it's all written backwards which is a sign of the devil how many people knew that um uh, they made the mansion red, which is also a sign of Satan in the ninth gate. Uh, you know, Satan, the ninth gate was filmed here. Eyes Wide Shut was filmed here. The occult ritual takes place in another Rothschild mansion. Meant more towers in the UK. And in Earth, meet the host of the Ball Guide uh, Rothschild. And Maria Helen. De Rothschild wearing a horned giant's head with tears made from real diamonds. Baroness Maria Helen De Rothschild and Baron whatever Alex. And then you had uh, this Maria Bogovich. And this, from a more recent thing, this was also into the uh, missing kids and exploited children. This is Maria Bogovich or something. And this is her doing her spirit cooking thing. And as you'll notice, that's the appearance of dead bodies in it. Some are cake, some are actors or actresses that wanted to lay there. Which I can't imagine they want to do that. But look at the symbology. The little kid, little girl with her hands taped down. She's standing behind this little boy with her hand over her, his face. Snake crawling out of her. Even got the horns. That's sick. Actually, all of this stuff's sick. And then they have these things where it says, uh, well, shoot, I just lost my train of thought. It 
it's not just a few. Like Bill Gates, I just learned the other day that uh, he was at Microsoft's inventor. That was his mom. She ended up with IBM Parsons. And he was hooked in with Hitler. Prescott Bush was his. Oh, it's Bush. Never mind. That's getting back into the bushes. Anyway, this guy's mother was a father. Or was a father. This guy's mother was a follower of Margaret Sanger. Mar Margaret Sanger was a follower of Madame Levinsky. So was Hitler. Now, I'm getting into Hitler, what about said wrong? Was with Hitler, he uh, he wanted to know the future. He wanted to know this and that. So he was buddies with, well, he actually kind of a follower of Madame Lovinsky. So God only knows what Mama Gates come out of there with. Information wise. But now Prescott Bush, he had, he was in title here and financed it. So the government took away his, his bank. He went for years and, and, you know, other than smuggle money and other illegal good, good cotton gains, he finally came up with a plan. He had this plan that he was going to start the, uh, what was that, MSO? Officers Club? It was a thing where officers could come and, and uh, people, women that weren't married yet, or probably held on it, probably anyway, but they would uh, come in and dance. I, I so it was for service men. And it wasn't a good to do again either. If you ever want to know who you can't, who's, who's guilty, just look at who you can't accuse or talk about. That's your guilty one right there. So, anyway, we've covered quite a bit for the day. We'll cover more. This is people and things that you should know. And there's a whole lot. Later.